I have done several videos on Pi Network, and this is the most comprehensive one that I have put together that covers absolutely everything you need to know about Pi Network. If we briefly go over what Pi Network is, five over five years now since this thing launched, which was the 14th of March 2019, which is Clusters Pi Day, and the project was launched with the Pi Mining app. So you have a phone and you go on the Pi Network app, you click a button, and then through that, you mine the cryptocurrency. On the 29th of December 2021, which is now over three, uh, no, sorry, two and a half years ago, its Pi Enclosed mainnet was launched. On December 2022, a synthetic version of Pi was listed on several exchanges, including Huawei and XT.com. Pi Network made a statement explaining they do not endorse any Pi on any exchange, and the project is not yet in that phase. As of today, the coin has not been officially launched on any exchange. We also know that KYC requires holders, so know your customer, to complete a chat list to migrate to the enclosed network, um, the enclosed mainnet, which is where uh, so many people have switched over to, and you can send and receive your Pi with other fellow pioneers that have migrated as well and complete the KYC process. As with Pi though, there's always a lot of questions and we're going to cover them all today. Now, in terms of tokenomics, this is hard to find. Usually when you go on a crypto website, it will have an overview of the project, i.e. how many tokens there are, what the release schedule is, how many folders there are of each, and there's not really anything on the main Pi website itself. This is the only thing I could find after going through various websites. And it states that there is a 100 billion uh, maximum supply of Pi coin, which will gradually be released as more participants join the network. 80% of the total supply has been allocated to the community and the remaining 20% to the Pi team. That means 80 billion allocated to the community, 20% to the Pi team. 65% for mining, so 65 billion for mining rewards, 10 billion for ecosystem expansion, and 5% for exchanges, so that's around 5 billion tokens. And the way you work out the price of a particular token is the market cap equals the price times by the number of coins in circulation, which gives the market cap. And if we look at what this synthetic version that they mentioned before in the article it is showing that the price, I don't know how they've come to this particular figure, is $41, spiking on a couple of announcements of potentially it being released. And this is all we've got. How actual realistic this is in terms of, is this the actual price? It shows on these websites. I don't think you can actually buy it. You can see the depth. The volume, it says 140,000. I don't think you can potentially buy it. I think it's just an IOU. And if you're wondering what that is, and if you're wondering how to sell your pie at the moment, I'm going to go through that in a slide in a sec. So, this was a tweet released at the end of last year. And this is basically saying, as of the 25th of September, uh, the Pi Network has migrated 2.27 billion pie to 3.3 million dollar Pi wallets. On average, that's 688 Pi per wallet. Currently, 1.4 billion plus uh, 1.4 billion plus Pi is locked up for long-term Pi holdings. So, if you think the average people there, eight, uh, the of my grade, have around 668 Pi in their wallet. Now, if this was to launch and people were to get the full amount of money for the pie. If it launched at the price on the exchange, which is here, that would be $41, meaning that 668 pie times by $41 would be $27,388 each. Will they actually get that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that is 
a ridiculous amount to expect from uh, just mining something on your phone, to be honest. And before we went to launch price, I just want to talk about my crypto community, the 10X Club. If you're looking for a crypto community to join, this is what I've done now. Migrated over to Patreon. And in this, we have got two tiers. So you've got the Diamond Hands tier, which is £10 a month, around $12. VIP Bowl, £50 a month, which is around uh, $60. There's a live chat within it. Member-only live streams. I go through my portfolio on a weekly basis. Uh, sorry. in Yeah, I post my uh, portfolio on a weekly basis and go through it in the live streams. Patreon-only posts, so I'll only post on there for uh, members. The only place to watch me live stream is within the Patreon itself. We've got uh, weekly updates on the crypto market and coins from our trading expert in there. And we've also got the VIP uh, full tier, which is everything on that, including a monthly VIP call. Zoom call, we can directly interact with me and other VIP members. You can request what coins you want the uh, trading expert to look at from a technical analysis standpoint and a VIP only chat as well. If you want to join, link is in the description. So, back to this. Um, what is this launch price going to be? Because if it's not going to be $41, what can we realistically expect from the price of Pi launching? Now, on that previous slide, it said, if, if we were to take a rough guess at how many coins are going to be in circulation when it launches, let's just say uh, 5 billion migrate. So if you've got 5 billion being migrated, then you've got the 5 billion for exchanges. That means 10 billion coins in circulation at the time of launch. The price on the exchanges now is $41 apparently. So if this price was to be correct, that will mean the market cap launch, and remember what market cap is, price times coins in circulation, that'd be $410 billion market cap. And as you can see now, Bitcoin is up there with 1.3 trillion. It would slot in where Ethereum is. Now, I don't see that happening because <laughs> the issue is when a coin normally launches, it works backwards. So what does that mean? So the amount of money invested into a coin that people pledge in terms of fiat value, this divided by the number of coins in circulation, usually equals the price. So it's the other way. But for this coin, if there's been zero money from investors invested because all you've done is click something on your phone, the market cap can't be billions because there's money printed out of thin air. It just won't happen. The market cap can't be $410 billion because where's the money come from? There's no money at the other side of it. Now, the market cap plus the price would be determined from the amount of pi bought on launch day. So this is how the market cap, in my opinion, will be worked out. It will be by how much co uh, pi is bought off the exchanges because that's the actual money. Now, the problem is it would already be highly diluted because if you've got, say we do that scenario I'd said before, if you've got 5 billion coins that have migrated, with 5 billion on exchanges, you've got the 50-50 split there. 50% of the supply is already highly diluted because it's worth nothing because there's no monetary value supporting that, if you understand what I'm on about. So in terms of the price, I have no idea what it could be because the maths don't really add up as to how it would work, and it would definitely be a lot lower than $41, in my opinion. If you wanted to sell your pie now, if you wanted to sell it, then there's two ways to do it. Currently, two ways. One, you and another. If, so, say you're you've got two people on the enclosed mainnet that have done the KYC process, the pioneers, blah blah blah. Then they can come to some sort of arrangement on a message board, whether it's a Reddit or a Telegram, and one can say to the other, "I will sell X amount of pie for." either cash that the other person has or a gift card, for example, um, send it to the enclosed main net. And then, you know, one person may pay $100 for, let's just say, uh, 100 coins, 100 pi, okay? Or 
past that, there is a downside for the buyer or the seller. Because if it turns out that it's actually worth $41, the seller is going to be annoyed. But if it turns out it's worth hardly anything, then, you know, the buyer is going to be annoyed because you bought pie for nothing. So there's, there's two ways it can work with that. The next one is an IOU contract or a, a deal where it's a handshake or something that I is, you know, written out. I don't know how legal you could make it with pie. And one person would basically say to the other, I will sell you this amount of pie, X amount of pie when it launches for X amount of money here now. And again, there's a downside with that. So this person is not actually sending it yet. He's basically saying when it does launch, I will sell it to you. And the price has already been uh, agreed and the price has been paid already. But again, there's a downside for the buyer and there's a downside for the seller because one is going to be shortchanged if it's nowhere near the figure that they agreed on for the price per the pie. And you don't want to feel like this guy. So if you don't know who this is, this is uh, a guy who bought uh, a couple of pieces for 10,000 Bitcoin. And maybe his kids disowned him because they found out that he spent $360 million. Oh, no, it'll be even more now. On the article, it said $360 million. Bitcoin now is obviously 70K. So this guy's nearly spent a billion dollars, 700,000, sorry, $700 million on a pizza. So don't be that guy. And I'm sure no one would, I'm sure no one would, uh, I don't think a uh, pie network will go that high, to be honest. Now, the next question is, when does it launch? They have specifically said that they want to launch in 2024, and they've suggested some goals, which are 50 million, sorry, 15 million pioneers passing the KYC checks, 10 million pioneers migrating to the beta mainnet, uh, 100 mainnet, ready apps and what is interesting as well is here there's prerequisites for them launching so one the team underscored the need to complete all crucial technological product business and legal preparations why they need to do that and they're still not done that after five years is beyond me we've seen richard hart in in the, in the time that pi network has actually come come to be Richard Hart has launched Hex, done like a ridiculous gain, 40,000% uh, 40, gain, um, gone through one bull market, then launched two other cryptocurrencies, PulseX and PulseChain, seen them go up, get billions and billions of donations, get sued by the SEC, and Pi is still not launched. So I don't know why it takes so long for them to, you know, do all this. The second one is decentralization milestones. A central, grow, a central goal is the acquisition of 15 million KYC verified users and the migration of over 10 million pioneers to the mainnet blockchain. Initially, devel the development of at least 100 high quality, diverse utilities and applications is critical. Now, the third one, optimal external conditions. As a global cryptocurrency initiative, Pi success is intertwined with the broader world context. Therefore, the team said factors such as geopolitical stability, regulated developments, industry trends, and the absence of global crises are pivotal in determining the timing of the Pine uh, main net launch date. Now, this last one has got to be hit because you can't really argue with, I mean, you can say about the, you know, the global macro outlook, but at the end of the day, it's launching in a crypto market. And in the crypto market, Bitcoin has hit its all-time high. So for this particular uh, company, Pi Network, to say that they're waiting for favorable conditions, the favorable, optimal conditions are here. We're at the start of the bull market. Bitcoin's at its all-time high. So the Bitcoin halving is in a few weeks. So there's no better time, in my opinion, to launch this. And if I was them, if this product is actually legit, if this product is not actually a scam, come out and show everyone how much of not a scam it is and get it launched. Because once you launch it, you're going to shut the naysayers up and 
potentially this could be a massive crypto. Will it happen? I have my doubts, but we'll see going forward. If you do like my content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you all very soon.